What's going up guys? Empire Nerd Pod here and we're gonna do a different kind of video today. Um, as I told you guys before, I like to nerd out about a bunch of different stuff, you know, movies, comics, um, you know, Pokemon, video games, all that stuff. So another thing I really like to nerd out about here are my pocket knives. And so I wanna try doing a video like this, you know, um, see what, test the waters, I guess. And so See if you guys are into it. If you're not, you know, I don't have to do these. Um, if you guys do kind of like these, you know, I can always do one every so often because, you know, knives are expensive. But, um, yeah, I can always throw in, like, an EDC thing every so often, whatever. But um, if not, whatever, you know, again, testing waters. This is how it is. But anyways, this last weekend I was able to go to uh, CCKS, which is the California Custom Knife Show, and it was held in Woodland Hills, uh, California this year. Duh. And um, you know, normally they do it in uh, Garden Grove, Anaheim, and they do two every year. They do the spring show and they do the fall show. So I got to go to the fall show, and it's really cool because you know it's just like 15 bucks at the door, not expensive. And um, I mean, if you're you're like Think about like your big conventions, you know, you have Blade Show, you have Blade Show West, Blade Show East, Blade Show Texas, you have Shot Show uh, in Vegas, you know, things like that. But I guess to kind of compare it to people, to like stuff, you know, other stuff that people might know would be like, you know, Comic-Con, WonderCon, you know, um, Long Beach Comic-Con, all that stuff. So it's something like that. So you 15 bucks a door, you go in, you get to meet all the vendors, all the exhibitors, stuff like that. And the cool thing is that this is a, you know, CCKS is still a relatively small show. So it was held at the Marriott in one of the ballrooms. And um, it was cool because we, we went in and it reminded me a lot of like when we first started going to uh, Long Beach Comic Expo, you know, before it became a big thing that they hold in the convention center. Now, it used to be at the, across the street at one of the hotels in the ballroom, same thing. You know 10 bucks at the door you go in you get to go see everything and it was really really small you can walk the whole thing in about you know maybe hour and a half two hours depending on what was going on but um yeah this thing it's 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 a really small show you know we walked in about less than an hour you know um, we went on sunday and it was cool because you know the big day is saturday everybody's there and usually by sunday the exhibitors are all out of product you do they're usually sold out you know the vendors are still there but Typically, you can still see some of the bigger exhibitors there. And it's really cool because, you know, you do have the big the big players like ProTech, Jack Wolf, Riot, uh, CRK, which is Cursory of Knives. Um, you know, I think I said ProTech already, but um, yeah, you, the big, big vendors are still there. You know, they, they take a bunch of stuff for people to buy. And then you get to see a bunch of like um, small, small creators that they're just there hey you know got some custom stuff check it out this and that prices aren't too bad um for the bigger guys you do get like you know show prices which is like you know 25 to like 30 percent off of what you'd buy like on one of the big shorts uh, online stores or whatever and so um it was cool you know again sunday a lot of the a lot of the exhibitors were gone already we walked in like an hour after opening and i would say you know, the tables were about 50% full. You know, a lot of people had gone home already. And, um, you know, but but again, the big ones are still there. So it was really cool to go see those people. You get to see, you know, a lot of the owners, you know, we, we visited with Riyadh, you know, they had their, their representatives there. We've seen, uh, I went to Jack Wolf Knives, you know, the owner was there, Benjamin Belkin, and um, really cool. So I was able to pick up this brand new, Little Bro Jack, which technically is not out yet. It comes out November 17th, so this Friday. Um, it was cool, you know, I got to talk to him, got to hear his story, um, started because his grandfather used to carry a slip joint knife all the time. And, you know, he gave him his first knife and just from there, he created this whole this whole company, kind of like, a, like an homage to him. And so he specializes in slip joint knives, premium materials, things like that, so it's really cool. Um, you know, the and again, you know, CCKS is really cool because it's it's still small, 15 bucks at the door, um, you know, and that'll get you in, I believe, for, for both days. Friday night's the big thing. It's called the uh, Friday Night Affair, and you have to pay a little more for that, but that's because that's it's that's where the big ballers go, you know? All the big kids go with all their money because that night is when it's like the big lotteries, the big auctions, and they're selling like, you know, 
five, 10, 15, $20,000 knives, you know, and so you see all the big names there and it's really cool. But um, yeah, let me go ahead, we'll show you guys this a little closer up and then we'll do some size comparisons. So if you're interested in one of these, you can pick one up on Friday. All right guys, so here we go. Better look at the Jack Wolf Knives Little Bro Jack. So this is the second time he's come out with this. Um, you know, it's really cool. Love the handle skills. It's called, let me look at my notes here. This is called Flow Party Camel Carbon. So I believe this is fat carbon compared to like regular carbon fiber. You'll see like all the little grains and all that. These are a lot bigger and I really like how the light plays off of it, but it's cool. It's a slip joint knife, so that means no locking. So you have a half stop there and that's it fully open. So this is called clear point. So think of like your classic Bowie knives, things like that. So, and this thing, I mean, this thing is a workhorse. It's small, but I mean, it, it gets the job done. I took it to work today. And I mean, I was just cutting up all sorts of stuff, you know, boxes, plastic, zip ties, all sorts of stuff. And it is still, still razor sharp. This thing is cool. Really good, small, still get a full, full grip on it. And I mean, it's really cool. You will see it's got a nice walk and talk. Nice snap, you know, it's, it's, it's a decent pull. So it's not just gonna open and you know, all that stuff. And it's really cool. So like I said, we got to talk to the owner, uh, Ben. He gave us a full story and it's really cool. So this is Jack Wolf Knives and uh, they all come in these really cool tins. And so each time he comes out with a knife, he creates a new artwork for it and he commissions Marvel artists to actually come in and create different art for them. And so um, this is the, I believe he says it's the second time he's done this design. So the first one had a different art. Then for number two, he created a new art for it as well. There's the name, Little Bro Jack. So it's really cool. It reminds me of like the old uh, watches that Burger King used to put out with the Star Wars watches. They used to come in a tin like this. And it's really cool. So you get you get this. Really old school. Comes with the pog. Again with the same art. So if you're into pogs, these are nice collectibles. And then it also comes with again, comes with some stickers. Again with the art. Comes with a nice big cleaning cloth. This is 12 by 12, so you should get something small. So really nice microfiber. It's got the logo on there. And it also comes with a really nice leather slip. So all this inside of here. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's in there nice and snug. You want to get it, just push the sides, pull them out. Cool, so yeah. So this is a really nice knife, guys. Um, the other thing I really like about it is the logo is actually really small. And it's not too like in your face or whatever, you know. It really lets you like admire the workmanship and all that stuff. So it's really cool. Um, for all you guys are here for the specs, it is an S90V stamped right there. You know, overall length, so from butt to tip, it's gonna be 6.2 inches. Blade length is gonna be 2.7, so just under three. Uh, width is gonna be 0.68 inches. And thickness is going to be 0.12, so it's got a nice tension on there. It's not just going to close on you when you're working on it. So again, you can just do that. It's not just going to fold in on your fingers. Again, half stops on that safety feature. Again, when you're closing, you're not just going to shut it on your fingers. Um, again, the scales are carbon fiber, fat carbon. Bolsters are titanium, so nice and light. It's got these little grooves on there. Gives it a nice look. I believe it's T8 for the head screw and T10 for the pivot. So, you know, as long as you have your little, your little torque kit, torque screw kit, you know, you'll be fine. And uh, yeah, again, I mean, slip joint knives are gonna be fully ambidextrous, there's no clip. And I mean, hey, it is what it is, it's nice. So, 
Let me show you some size comparisons in case you guys are wondering about that. Oh, excuse my fidgetiness, it's hard to open this around the camera. So, uh, first one up, if you carry a fixed blade, that is gonna be Bradford Guardian 3. So as you can see, a little bit, a little bit bigger there. So that's nice. Again, it comes in this cool ass little leather sheath. That's that. Uh, another one of my favorites, budget knife, is gonna be the Ontario Rat 2. As you can see, it's very well used. Carry that a lot of the times. Uh, let's see here. What else do I have? What else did I bring? Uh, here is my Rough Rider Trapper. You know, this is the Lick of the Irish version. This is probably one of the other slip joints I have. Again, these are nice budget knives. You get them for like 20 bucks or less. You can see that is a lot, a lot longer. But that's because that's the style of the blade. Again, this is like a clip point. You know, but it's a lot bigger. And this one comes with two blades. Cool, huh? So, yeah, your old school grandpa knife. Uh, comparing to some of the newer stuff, so maybe Elementum. There's that. No, uh, what else I got here? I got my Spider Codelica. So we got lock back. This is the frame lock, or actually liner lock. Uh, let's see. We got Benchmade. 940, 945. So even the 945's a little bit bigger and that's a small knife. This one I actually find I don't carry as much because I do feel like this is tiny. But uh, this is usually my go-to right here, my 940. This thing is a workhorse. So there's that. Got my Spyderco Paramilitary 2. PM2 with a P pair of three. So still smaller than a pair of three. You know, so that's what we're working with there. These are compression looks. Love these things. And then one more bench made. We have the bug out. And got the mini bug out. So pretty cool guys. <clears throat> Again, it's it's still a it's a fairly small knife, but I mean, you get this in your hand and you feel like it's a good good grip. You can see I get a full grip on there, and I got pretty big hands. But I mean, this blade shape, I mean, it's not necessarily the best for like you know, cutting stuff. It's more for piercing. You know, if you got to get into something, you know, get in there, work your way down. But I mean. It's got enough of a belly here. You could slide in like that. This is a really, really good, you know, it's everyday carry, or it could be your backup, you know, to whatever you're carrying that day. So, oh, and I got one more size comparison here. Actually, I forgot. This is gonna be uh, Sabenza Large. So, can't even get the whole thing in frame. Anyways. Yeah, so, so, for size, so um, that's it for the size comparison, guys. Um, you know, I would definitely say this is something to pick up, especially if you're into like actual knife collecting. I mean, you they're beautiful scales, beautiful worksmanship, look at that. If I pick that up here. You know, they got, they have other colors too. Um, let me see if I can get my, tablet frame here so how one looks more like you know the wood material and this is actually gonna be rosewood so it's actually rather nice if you if you play guitars you know what rosewood feels like it's not a very soft soft wood uh, you have this is the one I have that's gonna be the camel carbon you have dark copper, which is, this is the one he had sold out on. So this is the only one he didn't have any more left of, which is, I mean, that's a very nice color. And then we have this other other fat carbon, it's called uh, Nebula. 
That's a lot of reds and blues. He's got a larger version of this as well. And there's one called Kiranite, Crystal Lake. So that's gonna be more of like a, let's say like acrylic. So probably a little, slip, a little more slippier, slipperier in your hands. But, uh, you know, um, I'll say it's similar to this. You know, this is acrylic. I guess as long as your hands aren't that sweaty, you're gonna be okay. But uh, we're gonna leave it pure though. But yeah, guys, that's it. You know, just wanted to show it off. I was able to get my hands on it early. And he's he's got a bunch of other great designs. He's got one called the Vampire Jack. Um, a little bit bigger, spear point. It's got a coffin shaped handle, which is, you would see it. It's actually, if I describe it, it looks like this. And it does have like a couple points like this sticking out on both sides. And you would think it would be uncomfortable, but it's actually, it actually forms your hand pretty well. You know, look at that. You can see all the worksmanship on that. It's really, really good. Nothing sticks out. There's no hot spots. And I mean, again, you open it and that spring sits there flush. You start putting more, see the spring work, and again, flush. And I mean, it almost looks like one continuous piece of steel. Really smooth, you don't feel it. Really nice, so yeah, that's the little bro jack. Cool, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, it's just testing the water, see if you guys are into this kind of stuff. Um, Little Bro Jack's gonna be available this Friday, November 17th. You can always check out Blade HQ, Knife Center, DLT.com. Um, I mean, any of the any of the really big online retailers, you're gonna see them. They do retail for $2.99. So the, they're expensive, but again, like I was showing you, the worksmanship is very, very good. I think the other most expensive one I would have that gets anywhere near that actually surpasses that's gonna be my sabenza these are usually like 500 bucks and i've got two and a new ones on so if you know crk you know these knives are really good too um so let me know in the comments guys what you guys think if you want to see more videos like this uh you know i pull out a bunch of knives to for the size comparison this is not my whole collection if you guys want me to do a, a knife collection video let me know um that'd be really cool because you know i do have a bunch of spider codes you know, I got Benchmade, I got a bunch of smaller, smaller brands too. So let me know guys. Um, again, check out Jack Wolf Knives, really cool. Uh, Benjamin's a really cool guy. Um, other than that, see you later nerds.